A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Uh, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We've a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. Sir, you'd better hurry if you're planning on getting to Jezebel Plaza before Penguin's men finish their... <laughs> business. Sir, if I might. What is it, Alfred? You may wish to curb your, shall we say, evening dalliances. Oh? I wouldn't like you to develop a, well, a reputation, Master Bruce. A little late for that. Better later than never, no? Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza.
can I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. Looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they're... Mm, that's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Of the Batwing, sir. 
I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal. I'll have no way to locate the penguin. TV is stereo, too. I wouldn't mind picking up a few things, especially if it's free. There's a place not too far from here. Got some real nice stuff in the windows. But there's no way we're gonna be able to haul it all, just the two of us. I got a guy with a truck. We cut him in, I'm sure he'll help us out. As soon as he's off work, I'll hit him up. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. 
Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Thionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths, it'll be chaos in the streets, Batman, and there's not a thing you can do to stop me. I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You lost, Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Ah, 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 ah. No key, no entry. Running out of time, I should head for Jezebel Plaza. Trust me. Who's the mark? 
Some guy named Devlin. He's loaded, like Bruce Wayne loaded. Then there's gonna be security. But that's the best part. They're in on it. This is gonna be easy. I just hope they show up soon. Probably just stressed. But he's king of the damn city. Ain't no one can touch him. Except that bat thing. Boss can't be too happy about all the busts. A lot of our boys in black get because of that freak. Maybe. I don't know. Well then, what do you think it is? Running a criminal empire ain't easy. Maybe he's starting to crack. And uh, maybe we should change the subject. The wrong person he is as we'll both be in the river. Use the gun. 
on every corner. Or maybe the fancy oven back in my mansion. Yeah, I should have done that. Hey, you asked a question, I gave you an answer. do to you? You don't remember Fresh Start? Must have been before my time. They were packing us on the buses and shipping us over the county line. That's cold. That's Lobe. changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. Break 
Stop. Don't, don't. Whatever you're gonna do, don't. Okay, okay, I give up. Stop, stop. <laughs> Where's the penguin? I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Wake up. What happened? <laughs> Time to talk. Where is Cobblepot? Let me go! If you insist. Please, stop. Stop! I'll talk. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Please! Too late. I already have what I need. No! Crazy. If I can read this SIM card, I may be able to locate Penguin. Alfred, I'm getting interference on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. I'm sending out a science unit for a special assignment. Stand by. We've never seen this guy or heard his voice. Nothing but text from an unlisted number. What do I care? As long as your money shows up in my bank account. That's the crazy part. Did you ever give him your bank account number? I sure as hell didn't. So how was he wiring us our money? You know what your problem is? You gotta stop looking a gift horse in the mouth. Just being smart. You think it's a coincidence we get this job the same time Black Mass puts a bounty on the bat's head? I don't want to be mixed up in that. No way, no how. That whole thing's gonna blow over. Yeah, as soon as Black Mask realizes the batch of mint, things will go back to normal. Hope you're right. And if that means we're out of a job, so be it. doing this, Enigma. Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham's sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. 
You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of that Batman to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. Are your party crackers bland? Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Do you like the taste of fruit? Try my product, KJ's Fruit Preserve. My jams are legendary with extra large chunks of sugary fruit bits. Right there in the jar, you can find all the flavors of my home canned fruit preserves at your local supermarket, right by the jellies. Remember, KJ Sweet Fruit Preserves. Now that's good jelly. This is Brendan O'Brien with a heartwarming story for our listeners on this cold Christmas Eve. It's how a little charity for those in need really goes a long way. The residents of the former Black Fire Shelter for the homeless were in for a holiday treat this afternoon when they found piles of shoeboxes individually gift-wrapped under their tree in the shelter lobby. Apparently moved by the holiday spirit, Gotham's favorite billionaire, Bruce Wayne, donated 10,000 pairs of shoes to the Homeless Foundation, saying, quote, everyone deserves the means to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. Wayne's generous words have been interpreted as both sentimental and ironic, as it is well known that the extravagant philanthropist came upon his own wealth through his family's inheritance. Are your party crackers blank? Hey, we're pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc conversation. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate the position. Hey, Alfred, you got them's gone crazy. Everyone's talking about this freak show dressed like a bitch. They say he roams the streets fighting crime and crap. Really? I'm guessing you're not from around here. Dad did some work for Whalen back in the day. He asked me to come down for a few. Help him out with a contract. So, so let me get this straight. You think a dude dressed as a bad is crazy, but you work for another dude who don't dress like he's half crocodile, but he's half crocodile. <laughs> and, and that, that's totally fine? Am I? Hey, Whalen isn't half crocodile. He's got a uh, genetic disorder. Oh. Well, in that case, I take back everything I said. And by the way, your boy Waylon, he's been taken out by the bat. Need anything, Alfred? Only for you to stay safe. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one good apple in a bad bunch.
then? Let's see what you can do. Oh, right. There are also some things we should discuss, but we can attend to them when you're finished. Assuming you can finish. Giving up? Don't be sad. Your mind's just not built for this sort of thing. I'm upping the stakes, Batman, just like I promised. Tread carefully. Oh boy! You sure showed that crate who's in charge.
Thanks, Sam. Well, this is a shocking turn of events. on the news before. Bane and Joker both in chains, getting the maximum security treatment. Could be fake. Like they don't want to get the news out. And why the hell would they do that? Bane's still got guys all over the
you that. <laughs> but you're still no match for my vastly superior intellect, as you'll soon discover. information gets into the wrong hands, people could get hurt because of you. And people do get hurt because of you. So I assume you'll be handing yourself over to the police now? <laughs> That's what I thought.
guess that's one way to solve the problem. Thank you. 